I suppose essentially a decent man, you know, in as much as or a decent person, and that he, uh, I think, I think that he felt responsible to some degree for his daughter's what might be in the modern world referred to as control issues, and that he is no stranger to trying to control the environment, as is, as is evidenced in the film. And therefore, he may feel, in the way that parents do sometimes, um, obscurely responsible for uh, his daughter's control freakery. Autumn, as a photographer, a very eminent photographer and uh, music video person, someone who's had to concern herself with everything. So she's very concerned with the look, the composition, as you say, meticulously so right down to whatever objects are in the shot, how your collar is sitting, whatever, you know, she's very uh, uh, conscientious about those things. Emma Woodhouse is a girl who has uh, uh, what you might call good old fashioned, what you'd call now control issues, who uh, likes to arrange people in pairs and gets herself into trouble um, because she makes a couple of big mistakes and then she recovers well. Uh, and in the time on a sort of Shakespearean and probably pre-Shakespearean tradition, she doesn't realize that she's in love with the man who's you know, in close proximity to her. She is, um, you know, a, a young privileged woman of the time. She's lost her mother sometime. Uh, it's never specified, but probably some years before. She's been raised by an uptight, mixed up, shook up dad who is paranoid and uh, anally retentive. And uh, she has a degree of power in the community and she uh, exercises it, not always to good effect. She's remarkable, absolutely remarkable. And my experience of working with her was entirely pleasant and uh, unproblematic and easy and nice. She's very, very, very intelligent and, you know, in terms of acting and uh, told the story brilliantly in every moment that she was on screen, as far as I can see. And um, she was, uh, it was great to work with her. A lot of the people from the movie will have, this will do them an enormous amount of good and they will, you, will see, you will see them again. And Tanya Reynolds is incredibly gifted and funny and I could go, you know, the, uh, uh, Mia Goth is just adorable and funny and brilliant. And Rupert Graves, who um, I always, uh, I've worked with before, and I, I, I just like to mention that Rupert Graves is a fabulous actor and a, a wonderful man. The attention to detail, the, um, the exquisite degree of attention that's been paid to everything that happens within the frame deserves to be seen in its entirety under the, you know, in the best circumstances, which is in a cinema. It's an absolute, it is a kind of masterpiece in terms of the visual uh, achievement. What's in it for a younger audience is everything a younger audience wants. With all due respect, so do I. Um, which is they've got love, they've got romance, they've got stupid parents, and they've got a promise of really good sex.